Righto, since the announcement yesterday of Rank 8 Aviation and obviously the new Rank 7 Premium Aircraft, it's been incredibly interesting to see the community's general reaction to the price change. Obviously invalidating your own Tier 6 Premiums just after you've had a massive sale is probably a good way of doing things, although justifying Gaussian's actions is sometimes a bit arbitrary and I hate complaining about prices or premium vehicles, but the announcement of the A6E kind of really put me off just a little bit, considering there is so much more that you could get with 70 US dollars. That's what we're going to explain and then just briefly talk about in today's video. Of course, it is up to you and, and your end goal. If you want to spend 70 US dollars on something, and I can't stop you from doing that. If you want to save a couple of bucks, there is an awesome decal for the channel, and I get a kickback of about 3%, So, and you also save a bit of money on that too. So, again, that's up to you. But the point being is I can't tell you how to spend your money, and if this is something that you generally enjoy and you generally are having a fun time with, there is no point disagreeing with this. But for a general price point of 70 US dollars, I feel like they're pushing the envelope, considering you can actually get Flying Circus from Isle 2 for you know, $69.99. For Isle 2, you can also get the, the Normandy expansion with about eight aircraft. Or you can get a really high quality Jack Daniels or some other whiskey or booze of your choice if you're a drinker. Or you might even be able to pay for two weeks worth of groceries with 70 US dollars, depending on how you spread your budget. For people, it's different. And I understand that it's different in other cases. With DCS, it's a little bit different. You can't really compare the two games. While they are distinctly similar, yeah, you can basically get the AV-8 and the MI-24P behind when they're not on sale for $69.99. And there obviously is Flaming Cliffs 3 as well, but that is on sale. You could get Need for Speed under, uh, under, uh, Unbound. Uh, you can also get Rainbow Six Siege, the 7-year Operator Edition. You can buy Dirt 5, the Year 1 Edition. You can buy the Microsoft Flight Sim, the Base Edition. Minecraft is $30, so you can get you and your friends a bunch of things. And for joysticks, well, there is the Thrustmaster T16K for $79, or under $70, you've got the 3D Pro, which are both viable control surfaces and control sticks. And you can also get Ace Combat 7, the Top Gun Maverick uh, edition as well. So there are plenty of things for you to do with, with $70. Maybe pay an electricity bill, maybe pay a gas bill. But I, at the end of the day, I can't sit back and, 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 and sort of rationalize the reasoning for $70. I understand there's a new rank, and with that comes new complexity with new uh, systems, and obviously an increased grind. I'm not complaining, but it is a concern, and it is something like talking to a brick wall when it comes to Girls and Entertainment, so I can't be mad at them for this potential choice, because at the end of the day, they do know that people will spend the money, and people are going to spend the money in order to unlock a vehicle and, and pay to get to a higher tier vehicle quicker. Hell, for musical instruments, I could get myself a nice harmonica for 70 US dollars, like a really good quality uh, uh, American one. Uh, but alas, I could get myself a couple of pairs and a couple of sets of nice strings for my brand new guitar. Uh, you know, it's just... Money talks, right? And they obviously know what we've seen and, and from, from the sales. They obviously know what we have spent on that kind of uh, equipment. So, I don't know. Are you guys looking forward to seeing what some of the other premiums are going to be? Let me know in the comments down below. And do you think the $70 price tag is a bit absurd? That is my question for you. But... There are other things you can spend $70 on too, uh, so I don't know, I, it, it's, just, it's just a bit odd. $60 was already pushing it, you know, I, I feel like $50 should have been the cap for most vehicles, but you know, the new $70 price tag, I've been chatting to a bunch of different content creators and Twitch streamers and they've all been saying this just pushes the envelope towards and opens up the floodgates for $100 premiums, so you know, you know people will be spending money on that 100%, so I don't know. We're going to have to just wait for the dev servers and the announcements of the next lot of vehicles because that'll really determine their value. And I'm incredibly excited to be able to, well, probably be able to test some of them out when the dev servers come out later in a couple of weeks' time. So that'll be something that I'll be very interested in, in doing, comparing value to what we already have existing in-game. So, yeah. Look, I can't tell you to do with what your money as you will, but if you want to save a couple of dollars, there's a 3% discount link in the description down below. 
it's not going to save you too much, but hey, at least it'll make you save a couple of bucks and not have to pay exactly 70 US dollars for something. What was the point of this video? I don't know. I, do, I just felt like I needed to get it off my chest. I, I, I feel incredibly frustrated with this decision. I can't stress enough that it, it's it's not really a, a direct impact, although it's new and it's it's, it's new content. Um, I'm quite happy for that. And I, I'm, I'm pleased that the intruder is coming to game. I, I'm, ex I'm excited to see what's coming. I'm very optimistic, but at the same time, this isn't going to help uh, you know, decompress the higher tiers. It's only going to add to more stress and more, uh, I guess, potential issues. But hey, there is a silver lining to this. We are going to experience probably a really interesting patch. And hopefully it brings more competition to the top end. And with that, I, I leave it up to you. What do you think will come next? And more importantly, do you agree with the $70 change? I... I don't know. $70 is a lot for a free-to-play game. It's a AAA title. I know it's not Star Citizen, but it's bloody War Thunder. And they better start adding some new features and really cool features for these, these price tags and these price points. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in a video soon. We're probably going to go discover or discuss some of what the new potential vehicles could be. Anyway, my name is Ash. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next one. Bye-bye.